All right, let's learn how to achieve semantic search, generative QA in Bubble using the OpenAI and Pinecone APIs. Essentially, our baby chat GPT based only on information of our choosing. Now, on the left side, I recreated chat GPT using the chat completions API. I do have a video about how to do that so that we can do this. What is the capital of Italy? And see the difference between the two apps we get back the expected answer. What if we do the same in the app that we're building on the right? We get back nothing because we have not told our empty brain what is true. So let's tell it that the capital of Italy is Milan. Now our brain is learning a new fact. Whether true or not, we can now ask it, what is the capital of Italy and we are going to get back an answer based on the body of knowledge that we just fed it. Now you can see the endless applications for this internal company documentation, historical medical facts and so on. So how do we build this? Two things, get yourself an open AI API key. That's free. The same with Pinecone. Then in the OpenAI documentation, we are going to copy the embeddings curl so that we can go into Bubbles open, I'm sorry, the API uh, connector and we can paste the curl in here. If you don't know how to do it, it is achieved by clicking this and pasting that in here and you will end up having something very similar to this. Again, if you can figure out the rest of my API key, you win a prize. Uh, so make the input dynamic because that's going to be what we write into this chat boxes that we just looked at. Completions, don't worry about it. It was just for this demo. Now, go to Pinecone. And in Pinecone, you are going to do this. You're going to create a new index. That new index is gonna have a name of your choosing, but it's going to have 1536 dimensions. And now you're gonna choose P2 because it's the newer. Inside of your index, you're gonna have all these beautiful API uh, resources. We're gonna only care about upsert, which is how we ingest data into the database. So you can copy this and back into Bubble. We're gonna paste it and we're gonna end up with something like this. Make these fields dynamic. You can pause the video. And then we're gonna get the query as well here and we're gonna end up with something like this, making these parameters dynamic, okay? Workflows. When clicking that button, so the capital of Italy is, we are upstarting, we are feeding data to the database. The way that this works is we're gonna take a piece of text, we're going to put it through the OpenAI embeddings model, it's going to break it up into all these different numbers, you don't need to know why and how it's just going to do it. So the Pinecone, which is a vector database, is going to accept those vectors, which is, which is all these different numbers that represent all these different words that we just uh, created. It wants an ID. I do this by a random string. You can look up how to do that. It's very simple. Text is going to be the text from the input. Um, same input as uh, that because it's gonna save that into um, metadata. And then the values, so those vectors that it's expecting are going to be the vectors coming from the previous call. Query, this is where we ask, what is the capital of push? When we push that button, yes, we are going to turn that text into vectors again. Why? Because Pinecone only understands those vectors, the vector database. So we're going to take those vectors, all those numbers, and I do recommend checking out the documentation. It's very, very clear and very, very informative. Take all those numbers, understand what you're actually asking in natural language. So again, the result of this, and then you can get the response and show it like I do on, um, a custom state, you can save that information in a database. So this is the very, 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 very basics of how to achieve this. Of course, we are going to need a much longer explainer, but hopefully this is a good primer. Feel free to ask me questions and I'll be happy to unpack it all.